Remember those MasterCard ads? The ones where the father is taking his son to a baseball game and uh, it says, you know, two tickets to a baseball game, $28. Uh, popcorn, soda, two hot dogs, $18. But experiencing your son's first baseball game, that's priceless. Uh, well, one of the things I spend a lot of time thinking about is what are the psychological consequences of putting a monetary value on time? Um, I'll, I look at the role that organizations play in sort of highlighting the time money association and the consequences that has for how people think about their time and how they spend their time outside the organization. Um, so for instance, um, people who are paid by the hour or who bill their time are much less likely to volunteer. I want to talk about one study uh, I've done really recently here at the Rotman School with uh, Julian House, who's a PhD student in the Rotman School of Management. Uh, we wanted to know whether uh, we'd already shown that thinking about your time in terms of money changed the way you spend your time. We wanted to see if it actually changed the way you experienced time. So what we did was we thought about, you know, what are those moments, those sort of priceless moments, those moments where you stop to smell the roses. Would putting a monetary value on time sort of interrupt people's ability to derive happiness from those experiences? What we did um, in a, uh, several different studies was we had people calculate their approximate hourly wage rate as a way of sort of prompting them to think about, you know, what is my time worth? And we found that doing that really profoundly influenced the way they experienced something like a beautiful piece of music. We had all participants listen to the same 86 second, um, the flower duet, an, an opera duet. And what we found was that when people were prompted to think about their time in terms of money, as compared to simply doing kind of random calculations or not doing anything at all, we found that they were much less happy after listening to the music. And this was explained entirely by people feeling much more impatient. They were wanting to get to the end of the experiment to do something that was sort of more profitable. Um, and so what we're seeing here is that sort of thinking about your time in terms of money may actually uh, impede you know, that dad's ability to enjoy that game with his son if he's thinking about the kind of monetary value of his time.